Hi guys, welcome back to my channel tonight. How you guys doing? I'm doing fabulous. Oh, fabulous, 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 fabulous. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm coming out to around 4.35 o'clock, you guys. And it's like pitch black outside. I know I've talked about this before. It's weird how, um, Vegas is getting dark at 4.30, 4 o'clock. Seems like the days go by so fast. And it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. But today, uh, today was a pretty awesome day. I finally got my bedroom done. And I got my living room done. Everything's situated. And I'm almost done with my studio. So I'm happy about that. Um... Other than that, let's just get right into the doll review. How you guys doing? Uh, yeah, how you guys doing? Let me know in the comment section. So, um, anyways, I got a, a special guest today. And, um, I know some of you probably did not want her to hear. I know, I know you guys. I know you guys. Know. <laughs> but I have a special guest. And that special guest... Is she really wants to talk to you guys? I know she came all the way from Disneyland the other day, but it's just like she had to go. And but I really wanted her to talk again to you on this occasion of the case of the doll that I'm gonna be doing today. She wanted to be here, but she wants to restore a gift to you guys. She really just loves you so much, just like I do. <laughs> But anyways, and so I will know you. I too shall bestow a gift on the child. Oh, I want a gift. No, no, I know you guys. But she wants to restore a gift on this special doll of you, and I thought I'd allow her to restore the gift. Just for the simple fact that it's my favorite villain of all. And I really, really, really like her. So, like. deep black trance. But let's wait. Deep black trance. Which is Poor sleeping beauty. She wants me to beg, but I'm not gonna beg. <laughs> oh, you guys, I just love it. I love this. I love Maleficent so much, and I love that movie. And I really, re the reason why I love that one better than the classic one is because it really show tells a, a different side of Maleficent, a side that what could possibly, uh, probably, possibly might have happened. We never know. Uh, you know, Walt. Walt Disney didn't really specify on that. He out made Maleficent seem to be the worst one of all. And, um, but the newer one with Angelina Jolene, um, it kind of really gives you a perspective from Maleficent's side and kind of how King Stefan really, 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 really kind of screwed her over um, because of the king wanting to really... I don't know, he just didn't want Maleficent around or the, the, the thought of fairies and stuff like that. So, and all that. But anyway, to the doll review. This is Maleficent's Disney Store Limited Edition uh, 4000 Maleficent doll. 
And I will be taking her out. I will not take her fully out because I don't take my collector dolls. But I will take this part off. And you'll get to see a better look at her. So, but this is the outside of the box. Um, it's really cool here. It's got like this purple black trimming. It's got the Disney Store logo. It does say sticks and over. Uh, these are more, I think, for collectors. But uh, um, anybody can collect these. Anybody, you know, sticks and over. Uh, she's a limited of 4,000. I said that. And it has Maleficent. And it's just really cool see through uh, uh, box here. Um, uh, all four sides. And then here you've got the see through box with these kind of like. Um, I don't know, they're white, white like, I don't know how you would say, I don't know if they're flowers or if they're just like steel, you know, how, I'd say that like steel designs and on a box, but they're white designs on a box. And then they are also on the other side. On the back of the box, it's really gorgeous, it's purple, it's got a picture of Male uh, Maleficent and her crow, and it says Disney Sleeping Beauty Maleficent. And then it gives you a, uh, uh, you know, certificate of authenticity, a display stand included. Um, and then it gives you all the little fancy logos and uh, child hazard. These were um, adult, $119 in the U.S. and $129.95 in Canada. But she actually goes really cheap on eBay, guys. So, I mean, you can really get her probably for about what? what Disney was selling her for basically uh, probably about 140 or 150 but not that much difference like 20 30 dollar difference um I don't know why she's not like up there with the other ones uh she just uh, she's not I mean you know so uh yeah it's really cool same kind of pattern uh, purple black pattern um around it and but the top is also see-through with that same uh, see-through and white patterns around the top and then so let's go ahead and get her out so I'm gonna put her inside like this and this part comes off and it's really cool it's got all white inside it's like window uh, white with uh, dark black windows on each side all around and it's really cool and then this slides out like so like the Barbie dolls do the Barbie dolls have this type same type of setup where you can slide the plastic out like so oh I don't like to do this I keep my dolls in the box um because I like to preserve their their elegance their I love to preserve them but also I don't have to worry about dusting and cleaning that much so I'm, I'm, they, they just, it's really good to keep them in the box, you know, you don't have to dust that much. You're dull, but you do have to dust the out, outer box of it. So, like, so she does come with a certificate of authenticity, like I said. Mine is, um, number 1908 out of 4000. This is what it looks like. It uh, has a picture of Maleficent. It's really hard to see. Uh, and it says Disney Store. And then it's in purple, black, white, white. Like so. It comes in this, obviously, a plastic, plastic little slip cover. So that's really cool. And then on the back. In order to open it, you have to bust open this seal. And I'm not going to do that. So that is the certificate of authenticity. Let's get to the doll, shall we? To the doll. I know I've been thinking about taking my dolls out, but what I want to do is I want to get a, uh, I'm going to get a china cabinet see-through, like a really case. Till then, they need to stay in their box because this is gross. I've had this doll for about five years now. Five years, five, no, not four years. It's been four years, I know that. So, I've had her for a while. But she's really gorgeous. Take a look at her. I love this purple, like, silk that goes down. It's kind of like, like, really, it's like a ruffle. Like, you know, kind of ruffly type. I love the red inside her cape. 
I like how that sticks out. They are pinned down on the bottom. Let me see if I can see her shoes for you guys. She comes with a clear spin. And I cannot see the shoes. But, uh, it is her dress, in fact, is to... It is a, a one piece with the cape. One piece with the cape. So the cape can uh, uh, free flow. So, and it's like a Velcro with embroidered patterns. Uh, these little diamonds. And they got all around her arms. She's wearing a ring Her um, on her hands. Uh, she's got red red uh nail polish on her skin tone is like a greenish greenish type yeah like a kind of light light green she's very well made uh, she's got a black 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 collar on around her neck and her collar is black and purple with these purple diamonds going all the way down and around and then she's got black diamonds she's got rooted eyelashes her eyes are yellow and bluish greenish and then of course her uh, horns are plastic um, and then she's got her over here her uh, what is this called staff with a silver ball on top of it with uh, dragon um, dragon nails coming out and then of course her uh, raven um, he's got like, he's black with a uh, orange uh, beak and then she's got purple around his eyes and his eyes are black and white. So, and she's standing in a castle, a type castle background, it's gray, it's all gray, uh, but it, it, there's some bricks in there. Oh, the windows are uh, light blue. So, yes, this is really pretty. Uh, purple up here, like so. Purple on her uh, uh, cape right here. But I love this embroidery all over up here. It's just gorgeous. She's gorgeous all the way around. Um, very, 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 very gorgeous. And yeah, this her. Oh, I could have actually took her more out, more out for you guys, but. This is her Maleficent, Maleficent, she's really gorgeous, I like her, she's attached to these plastic things um, to keep her stable in there. Here's a close up look of Maleficent, and then I will give you a close up of the back if you want to read more about it, more about her, I'm sorry. And then this is the back of the box, close up. <clears throat> there you go. That's our doll review today on uh, Maleficent. She looks gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so you guys, I got these. I showed them to you guys before. They're really cool. They're for the new, um, Okay, they're for the new Disney Beauty and the Beast movie. They're tote bags. Uh, I have them on my eBay store. They're free shipping. They're, they're uh, really cool inside out. You can use them at the Disney parks or anything. Uh, put your dolls in, stuff like that. They're reusable. They're cool. They're awesome. They're firmly made. Uh, I have other cheap dolls, and, uh, other cheap collectible dolls, Monster High and all that stuff for you guys on my eBay store that you can get at quality low prices. So you can start your own collection at home. Home. So until we meet tomorrow right here in this wonderful, wonderful world, I will see you tomorrow night with another Ultimate Doll Review. I will talk to you then. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, leave and follow me on everything and check out my email store i will see you guys later i'll talk to you later bye